Hi people, welcome to Wisconsin International University and this is our skills lab. Welcome to our first ultra modern skills lab in the Wisconsin University facility. Come with me as I take you around the things we have in this facility and why you should choose Wisconsin International University. This mannequin can mimic everything a normal human being does. It can breathe like a normal human being. Everything you do as a normal human being, this mannequin does the same thing. This is Mr. Hall. So Mr. Hall is a high fidelity mannequin. Mr. Hall is what we use in teaching our students what we call physical assessment. When we say physical assessment, all we mean is that the things you should note on a patient that would prompt you on the right care you would give to the patient. We teach our students that before you touch any patient, you should establish rapport with them and then explain the procedure with them. So presuming I were to be a student nurse, this is how I'm going to go about it. Good morning, Mr. Hall. My name is yes. Justin from Wisconsin International University. And this morning, I've been assigned to come and check your breath sounds. Mr. Hall, we are doing this to know if you are breathing well or if there's any abnormality that needs to be taken care of. As I touch you, should you have any complaint, please do not hesitate to let me know. I would yes. also cover you up so that nobody sees what I'm here to do for you. Please, do I have your consent to go ahead? Yes. Thank you very much. So after I have explained my procedure to Mr. Hall, I'm going to come and then look out for the things that Mr. Hall needs. Mr. Hall, do you have any complaint this morning? I think my arm is broken. He said he thinks his arm is broken. So as a student nurse, how best am I supposed to care for Mr. Hall? So you see, I'm trying to even feel for Mr. Hall's pulse and you can see it's working. Mr. Hall, can you blink for me? Yes. Mr. Hall, do you feel any pain in your chest? No. Okay. So we want to check if Mr. Hall's chest is really rising and falling well, just as the normal respiration is supposed to be. So let's see what is happening here. Can you all see that there's a rise, a gradual rise and fall in his chest? Mr. Hall, could you cough for me? <laughs> Thank you very much. After we are done with Mr. Hall, we are going to the high fidelity mannequin also for the midwifery students. This high fidelity mannequin also does everything a woman in labor does, how the labor process happens, what you are supposed to do or expected to do as a student midwife when a woman goes into labor. So please come with me as we see that also. This is Madame Noel. Madam Noel is going to be a woman who is in labor. What is expected of the student's midwife when a woman goes into labor? How are you supposed to care for her when she goes into labor? And don't forget, then again, before you touch any patient, you are supposed to ask and seek for their consent and then explain to them the procedure you want to perform on them. We are here with Madam Noel, and then there's a student's midwife on duty today who is coming to help Madam Noel deliver her baby safely. So I'm handing over to student's midwife Laurentia as she takes us through what she's here to do for Madam Noel. Madam Noel, you are fully dilated, so you have to push. So as the head is coming out, you need to give it a little flesh and press it a little bit down so that the smallest diameter of the head can actually pass through the vagina so that the woman will not experience a multiple tears. Kindly hold on, don't push, head is out. So we have to wait for restitution. The head has to turn to one side so we can deliver the anterior shoulder of the baby. So now baby is out, time of delivery. So, thank you. Can you please give her oxytocin? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. So, our baby is crying. So, we always say a crying baby. The midwife said you should administer an oxytocin. So, I'm giving this oxytocin to help in the uterine contraction. She's not yet done. After the delivery of the baby and cleaning of the baby, she's now going to deliver the placenta of the woman. 
so after the baby is delivered we need to maintain baby or mother skin to skin to ensure warmth and you have to do what we call delayed cord clamping to allow enough blood circulation to the newborn before you separate baby from the mother before you start delivering of the placenta you have to ensure that the placenta is separated from the uterus before you start delivering the placenta and we do that by what we call cct control cord traction now in doing that you support the lower pole of the uterus whilst you pull the placenta downwards the cord is lengthening you you clamp it closer to the vulva before you pull down As the placenta is being delivered, you have to take your time and coerce it out of the vagina. Thank you. Our placenta is out. So when the placenta is out, you have to examine from the fetal side and examine from the maternal side. And now we can see that we have a missing lobe of the placenta, which means there is a retained part of the placenta in the woman's uterus. So we have to explore the uterus and make sure that the missing loop or the retained product is completely delivered. The missing loop is fine. That tells me that my placenta is now complete. All I need to do now is to clean the woman. And when doing this, you have to be sure that, sorry, sorry, there is no active bleeding. You observe no active bleeding on the pad before you apply a new perineal pad whilst making the woman comfortable. That was such a beautiful delivery. And this is what we teach our Wisconsin International University midwifery students on how to conduct labor, the education and counseling that should be given. There's a skill staff C, which is also general nursing based, and our skill staff D is also general nursing based. We also do MSc in nursing, MPhil in nursing, and midwifery as well. So come, come and join our beautiful community. Welcome to the Wisconsin Anatomy Lab. So this is the 3D anatomy table system, which is a virtual dissection table. And it can also replace the cadaver system. This reveals the 3D format in real life for you to appreciate the human body systems, the body parts and everything from the cells to the tissues to the body and then the organs and even the skeletal system, you are able to view it. The respiratory system, the urinary system, the reproductive system, the central nervous system, the peripheral, the endocrine system, and everything you need to know about the human body. You can also have sectional anatomy where you can divide the body into two. I'd also want to use this opportunity to tell you more reasons why you should choose Wisconsin International University School of Nursing and Midwifery. Because we have one of the best facilities and items to give you hands-on practice. Previously, when Nightingale started nursing, nursing was purely a vocational training before the theoretical aspect was added to it. We give you one of the best theoretical knowledges in all the universities in West Africa. And not just that, we add one of the best hands-on practice to your profession as you go by your training. So this is the reason why you should choose Wisconsin. We have a friendly community, a friendly environment, and then a less stressful environment to encourage all our students to do their very best. We have a cordial student lecture relationship where all students are heard, where all your concerns are addressed. 
come to Wisconsin and you have the best value for your money. We will see you all soon in our next admission.